I am Chris Hogan and you're watching Time to Football. What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to look at five teams that Le'Veon Bell could play for in 2019. But before we get into that, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date whenever we come out with future videos. But these five teams have a realistic shot of landing Le'Veon Bell and free agency. I wanted to put specific teams down like the Chiefs or the Buccaneers, teams that need running back help, but the reality is they just don't have enough cap space to make it a possibility to sign Le'Veon Bell. Instead, these five teams have a good shot of landing him, starting off with team number one, the Indianapolis Colts. This shouldn't shock you if you follow the NFL's Instagram page. Bell has been leaving cryptic comments underneath NFL posts that are related to the Indianapolis Colts all of last season. The signing in itself makes a lot of sense. Though the Colts already have some pretty good running backs like Marlon Mack or Naheem Hines, getting someone of Bell's caliber will be beneficial in making a deep postseason run. Another team Le'Veon Bell could play for? The New York Jets. The Jets have the second most cap space available right behind the Colts. New York had its fair share of struggles last year on the ground. There is some concern from the Jets front office about his weight gain from not playing last season, but give him a full off-season program from the Jets and that should get him up and running, literally. Our third team on the list, the Houston Texans. It's safe to say that the Texans aren't sold as Lamar Miller being the featured back in Houston. Even though Miller technically made the Pro Bowl, he was like the sixth alternate and he's set to become a free agent in 2020. This is the prime time for the Texans to make a push for Le'Veon Bell as their featured back. Next up, we have the Oakland Raiders. Marshawn Lynch is set to become an unrestricted free agent, though it's understood that he would like to play the Raiders last year in Oakland before he thinks about retiring for good. If Oakland can use their $69 million to pursue Bell and re-sign Lynch at a hometown discount to back him up, then Oakland would resolve a major flaw in their offense. And our last team, the Baltimore Ravens. This would be a nightmare for the Steelers, but the reality is that Baltimore has a good shot at landing Bell in free agency. It would take a lot of sacrificing on Baltimore's end since they're right around the league average in cap space, but Bell would be tempted to sign with a team that runs the ball 70% of the time. And that'll bring us to the end of our video, but you can stay connected with us if you subscribe to this channel. Just hit the Time to Football logo that's gonna pop up right over here. Oh, oh, it's uh, it's on my face. I, I don't know what's, well, I just, just, just click on my face and subscribe to this channel. Duffman, can't breathe. Oh no.